I have noticed that there are moments uh, when I am telling them a story, and it might be a story that I did not prepare, just in lecture, something comes, comes to my mind, and I decide on the spot to tell them that story. And it's uh, amazing how many pairs of eyes are turning to you when you start telling a story. I, I guess that's how I, 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 f I figured that it, it is captivating the student's attention because of all those eyes. I don't see eyes um, um, looking at the screen and then uh, laughing at something. It cannot be me because I didn't say something funny. So sometimes there are students, in a class of 150 students, you can see students here and there that are laughing at something while they are watching a video in the middle of taking notes. That's uh, if you sit in the back of a classroom these days, and I've done that, I've, I do that every now and then. It's amazing. They go back and forth between texting, taking notes on the class, working on their um, organic chemistry, texting again, working a little bit on the class, looking at what's ahead. Oh, wait, wait what's the plan next week in the class? And they are moving from one thing to another all the time. And uh, when you're telling them a story, they look at you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm imagining that they are you're, you're grabbing their attention. And of course, uh, it, it's because also the story is like five minutes, or it may be 10 minutes. And then it's a break in the rhythm of the 50-minute of the lecture. And uh, after that five or 10 minutes, then they may come back to their, um, I don't know, um, multitasking in the classroom. So that's, that's my take on that.